Hey everyone, it's Candice. I wanted to come on and do my week one post-op, although I've been doing videos all week, but I wanted to do an official week one post-op video. Um, first, I wanted to give a couple shout outs, you know, a couple hugs. Um, one to uh, Cabernet Queen, you're like my bariatric angel. Uh, I really appreciate everything that you, you know, suggested and helped me with over the past couple of days. Um, I am Chris411. I wanted to say thank you to you too. Um, and also to Cabernet Queen again for uh, hooking me up with my own lighthouse. And I wanted to give a shout out to you as well, Melanie. Um, so thank you so much. Um, you guys really, you know, stepped up and helped me when I needed help. Um, and I love you guys for it, seriously. Um, and, you know, I'm here as well. So don't think I'm just going to drain you for all your info, um, but I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Um, so since my last post, I um, spoke about the issues that I was having with my food and not doing the liquids and, and you know, all that stuff. Um, you know, from the links that you gave me, um, Sally, and uh, the information that I've read and heard from other people and the comments and stuff, um, it kind of put me on a in a good track, like it just, sorry about that, um, it just kind of put my mind at ease a little bit, gave me a little confidence to kind of get back on the road, um, so I did go grocery shopping that night, and I bought a couple things with me to show you what I bought, um, first thing is I bought some sugar-free popsicles, um, these are actually pretty good, no sugar added, it's only, um, it's only one gram of sugar, but these are pretty good, I had these on the way home from the grocery store, which is great. Um, I also bought um, the Carnation Instant Breakfast No Sugar Added um, Protein Packs. Um, it is a variety pack. Um, it has like vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. Unfortunately, I do not like chocolate. I, do, I never have. I don't want it. Um, I'm going to try it because maybe it changed my taste buds a little bit, but as of right now, I don't want it. Um, so that's good. Each pack was about 5 grams of protein um, and then added with the Skim Milk Plus. Um, is about that's 11 grams so um, that's like 16 grams um, per, per cup I guess um, thing is I had one of these uh, yesterday I had about a half a cup um, so it's not that much protein and I'm, I'm definitely not getting in my protein it's just really hard um, but I also bought um, some sugar free jello although I told you guys I didn't like it I found some I said whatever I'm just gonna suck it up um, this is actually a pretty good pack here it's the tropical berry or strawberry kiwi and tropical berry pack um, 10 calories no preservatives um, it's, it's pretty good and it's got the little Weight Watchers thing on there so that's great um, so that's that um, discussing about my fluid intake um, I went and got me a little canteen here um, it's about 27 ounces granted it's not huge but I um, mean at least get me started and I have no problem filling it up more than once to you know get in everything that I need to um, I I, I have been, you know, having a little issue with um, getting in my fluids and proteins um, and any kind of food because I do feel pretty bloated. I'm still bloated. Um, I constantly, it's kind of uncomfortable because I constantly feel like I've overeaten and I haven't eaten anything. And then even if I do take a little sip of something here and there, um, I feel like I overate. And because of that, um, I can feel my stitches. Um, I can feel them pulling if I make a turn or if I lay down or something like that. I can feel it and it hurts and it scares me. So that's something that I'm, I'm really trying to figure out how to fix. I don't really know what to do, but no. Um, there's crystal light in here. I don't like water too much. Um, so crystal light is really going to be um, my savior for these liquids. Definitely going to try and get some water in, but... Um, it's just, like, water doesn't taste good to me right now, and I don't know. <laughs> um, a couple other things. Um, I did decide that I was not going to go back to work tomorrow. Um, I just don't feel up to it just yet. I told my boss that, um, no, I'm, I'm not feeling like I have enough energy at this time, um, so I'm going to... Um, 
go back on Thursday. Um, that way my week is a little shorter and I have you know time to kind of work myself back into my job. My job is high intensity all the time. So you know I need energy and I need to be at my full um, my full uh, performance. Um, I have a meeting with my nutritionist tomorrow um, at 10.30. Um, I'm looking to get some clarity and some guidance, um, hopefully, you know, create some sort of a diet plan. I have a very awkward work schedule, so I really need help trying to figure out best timing for me to eat and um, what I should be eating to keep my energy up. Um, I'm going to the support group on Wednesday night, so I'm excited about that. Um, they didn't really know too much about the um, this procedure, so at least I can give them a little update on what's been going on with me for the past week. So that's kind of cool. Um, I have been doing a little walking. Um, I created this little route around my neighborhood, which I hate, but I created a route so I can get that in. It's maybe about a 15, 20 minute walk, but it's better than nothing. And I'm walking up the stairs. I, I live on the fourth floor and I live in a really old building, so the flights are really pretty long <laughs> but um so I'm happy about that that makes me feel good when I'm going to move my car in the morning I just get my little walk in and feel good for the day in addition to walking some more throughout the day um what else what else what else what else um so I also so let's get to the numbers this morning, um, after I went to the bathroom, um, I weighed myself, um, and the scale read 321.6, so that's about six points down from the date of surgery, which I was 327.4, um, so I'm happy about that. I'm still bloated, like I said, so I don't know how accurate it is. Hopefully tomorrow when I go to the nutritionist, I can get a better um, an accurate reading. Um, so, and... Um, and I had, you know, some issues with my food intake, so I, I don't know how accurate it is um, in that aspect either. Um, I wanted to give you guys a couple um, body shots so that you guys can follow my progress um, and so that I can document my progress as, um, you know, time goes on. So I'm going to see if I can do this real quick. bridge when it comes still see that chin there right mm. Ugh, anyway so that's pretty much it for um my weekly update update if i have anything else to say you know i'll be on here to share it with you guys um once again i really apologize about my hair it looks kind of crazy but i'm going to get beautified today i think i deserve all the stress that i've had this week i think i deserve to get um a little pampering done <laughs> so i will be getting up to go do that very shortly um, so I just want to say thanks, guys, for watching. Um, you know, subscribe if you haven't. And um, that's pretty much it. Keep the comments coming and, um, you know, have a great, great, great day. It's really nice outside. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.